a brief update from Batchit Bonkers Britain and the stories coming out of the UK today. First up, the arrest of Nicola Sturgeon, the ginger dwarf from the north and the former leader of the Scottish National Party. They're looking for the missing £670,000. A couple of things to note on this story. Number one, when you present to a police station voluntarily, it's very unusual for you to be arrested. I know that from personal experience. Number two, Police Scotland love to be in the headlines. Last time I was supposed to have offended someone with a tweet, Police Scotland got headlines by threatening to repatriate me from Australia for an offensive tweet. And finally, it's very, very convenient right now for Rishi Sunak and the Westminster team to have headlines coming out of Scotland. Anything to deflect away from them and headlines for Boris Johnson anything to deflect from the fraud report, which shows that at least six billion of seven billion wasted money during the pandemic went to contracts linked to government ministers. So how convenient to be talking about Nicola Sturgeon rather than focusing on the problem at Westminster. And by that same kind of attitude, why are we persecuting Nicola Sturgeon for 670,000 pounds, bear in mind I'm not her fan, when Michelle Moan, who allegedly stole 200 million pounds from the taxpayer and another six billion missing pounds that were misused or allocated to contracts that were put in a VIP lane by ministers, no one's been prosecuted or arrested for that. How can that be? Another big story is that Novak Djokovic becomes and remains and is the greatest tennis player probably of all time with his 26 Grand Slam win. He has gone back to the top of the rankings and that being despite the fact that he refused to take or comply with the forced state vaccination programme. He is banned from America. He was banned and deported from Australia. But because he had the courage of his own convictions, because he had faith in himself and because he was not prepared to sacrifice his beliefs in order to chase the record or some title or some badge, because he refused to bend over like so many millions of others did, he has been the ultimate warrior and ambassador for our side. And it's a marvellous thing to see an unvaccinated tennis player triumph against all the odds. And we can look forward to more from Djokovic at Wimbledon. And then finally, Biden. I mean, what does he really know about what he's doing? But he's flying the LGBTQ plus 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 flag over the White House, along with a speech and a picnic about how people are heard and how you are understood and how you are the priority. Of course, we know that pride has been hijacked from a very niche group of individuals, many of whom I would suggest are mentally not very well and do need help. Biden says that that niche group are his top priority. He has broken, it appears, the US flag code. There is a clear code in the US which says wherever flags or pennants are flown, the US flag must be the largest, must be the biggest of those flags or pennants. This pride flag absolutely violates that code and one wonders how much longer all of this nonsense or indeed how much longer Biden can continue. I mean the mob were shouting chanting four more years. <laughs> I think he'd be lucky, don't you? Anyway, those are the top stories coming out of the UK today.